Kings Report here at Chanigung Palace. I am your host, the second game Chanigung, H.J. Hyungjin Sean Moon, here reporting to you live. Some of the top stories here. A white man kidnapped, gagged, beaten by racist black anti-Trump gang. A young man in Chicago was kidnapped, duct taped at the mouth, thrown in a corner, beaten up. For no reason, for no reason, no reason. Folks, we have to come together around the principles of freedom and responsibility. We as a world must come together. We must unite, not with evil. We must unite with the gifts God gave us. Being racist is not a right. You cannot just take somebody because of the color of their skin, tape them up, gag them, kidnap them, and whoop their booty. You cannot do that. It is not your right to do that and inflict that upon somebody else. Whether that person is black, Asian, Chinese, Korean, white, it doesn't matter. That person is a human being. They bleed the same red blood. You can't just gang rape somebody. Like in Cologne. That they did, let's say, mass molestation of women by migrant men. You can't do that. See, that's why the GOP, who is now bringing legislation to end the Fed, Rand Paul, doing a great job there. Rand Paul, Ron Paul. Of course, Ron Paul, his father, being the consummate patriot. Rand Paul, a little less on some areas, but still a very important figure now still. Bring up bills to end the Fed. What a great, 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 great thing that they're moving on. That's wonderful. Also, the National Concealed Carry Permit Law. Reciprocity laws. If you are responsible... Enough to have a concealed carry permit in one state. That should be, there should be reciprocity with all states. How come I can carry in Pennsylvania, but as soon as I cross the border, which is literally a mile, not less than a mile from this place, I'm a criminal if I'm carrying my CCW. I am legally registered. I am a lifetime NRA member. I am a Gun Owners of America supporter. I am part of the Second Amendment and gun community. I am part of the martial arts and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and fight community and real martial art combat community. Why do I, and I am a law-abiding citizen, I have my CCW, I can legally carry my firearm in Pennsylvania and in other states that allow reciprocity. Why, as soon as I cross the border, either in New York or New Jersey, New Jersey, the communist states, am I treated as a citizen? Will I get 25 years in prison? Is this the United States or not? People must have the right to defend themselves. People must be able to have the tools to defend themselves. In the end, the firearm is simply a tool to be able to defend yourself. If you've got a young lady, if you've got an elderly person, if you've got a normal guy who's being mobbed, who's being kidnapped, gagged, thrown in a corner, beaten up for, being, for no reason other than that he's white, he needs to be, that man has to be able to defend himself. I don't care what color of skin you are. You should be able to, you have the right to be able to defend yourself if somebody is trying to inflict bodily harm on you. The Bible says, do not, do not murder. If somebody's trying to kill you, you have the right to defend yourself and stop that person and put him down. Because that person is trying to strip you of all your inherent rights, including your life. People in the free world must be able to defend themselves. 
The revolution of the peace, police, peace, militia. It is through strength that we create peace. It is when criminals fear you that when they're, that, that they're, there is peace. It is when mobs know, shoot, you know, maybe we should whoop that guy, but maybe that guy has a concealed carry. Maybe we'll all get shot. Maybe we won't do it. Criminals should fear normal people. Did you know that the NRA was the organization that was there supporting for African Americans to have guns during the 19... 50s and 60s, and beyond, before, before that, when they were disenfranchised and there was still segregation, the NRA was created so that the black communities could have guns to stop the white racist Ku Klux Klan members from killing them. It's not this inverted reality where the left is trying to pretend that they were the ones who created the African American empowerment. And they're the ones who are trying to give them the guns. No, they weren't. Lyndon B. Johnson's on there on record saying that he doesn't want them to get uppity. He wants to put them on, put the African American communities on welfare. So that they're, they're voting, quote, Democrat for the next 200 years. These people don't care about you. They don't care about your freedom. They don't care about your rights. They don't care about your ability to defend yourself. They don't care. What they care is maintaining control. What they care about is maintaining power. They see a normal person and say, hey, how, see, they bank on the normal person's goodness. They bank on the normal person's desire not to just want to pr predate and be a predator on people, prey on people. They bank on Judeo-Christian values that have infused into our general consciousness and culture since the advent of, advent of the Lord Jesus Christ, who brought about a true ethics Who brought about an ethics to even pray for your enemies. Forgive those who persecute you. To pray for them to come to repentance and come to God. For it is he who draws them near. It is he who draws us unto salvation. Unbelievable. That this kind of racist behavior is existing in America. The normal white man in America is not racist. He's not out to get me. As you can tell, I'm not white. But the normal white man is not out to get me. The normal American white person is probably the least racist person in the world other than the fact that he probably hates his whitehood, whiteness, because he's been told all his life that he's white privilege and, he has, and, he, and that he's a hegemonic imperialist. It's not about that, folks. It's about us coming together against the globalists, coming against, against the political Satanists. It's about us coming against Satan's political system. All human beings, black, white, Asian, come together to stand for liberty, to stand for freedom, to stand for responsibility, to stand on the moral high ground, which gives us victory over tyrants like this. Donald Trump must get in there. He must sign the National Concealed Carry Permit Law. He has to end the Fed. He has to fulfill his promises. He has to go after them because they will not stop. They have backstabbed him, backstabbed him time and time again. He had a deal with Hillary's side. The next thing she did after the debates is attack him again. These people are out to get you, President Trump. You must use the power of the law. Jeff Sessions and all your the apparatus to put these criminals, this international, foreign, controlled, supplied, paid for, illegal class of politicians into the full justice of the law. Their apparatus that they have created is now going to be used against them. It is time to bring justice back to this kingdom, to this world. And we thank the whole world movement that's moving. Marie Le Pen in France is now coming, saying Brexit is coming. EU exit is coming. The EU is collapsing. Globalism is collapsing. The new world order governance, world governance is collapsing. People are rising up, standing against it, coming back to individual freedom and liberty. 
family, liberty, and freedom, and standing up and rising up to destroy your destructive, evil, vampiric system. We'll be right back after this short break.